This episode of Ingenuity B2B is brought to you by The Rogers Company. For over 65 years, Rogers has been an award-winning designer and manufacturer of branded environments for trade shows, corporate events, showrooms, and retail environments. For more information, visit therogersco.com. Ingenuity B2B is about highlighting and connecting innovation in Northeast Ohio. We spoke recently to Dr. Rishi Singh about a new way of treating eye disease developed at the Cleveland Clinic's Cole Eye Institute. All of our, our company was be the leader in non-invasive ocular delivery. And um, uh, currently there's um, a lot of different methods by which we're delivering this uh, in the office, mainly by injection currently, but there's a lot of other drugs that are coming to market soon. And most of those are given by eye injections. Basically, this is how the, the technology works. It works on the fact that we just use existing registered FDA compounds. We don't change the composition of the compound at all. We place it in the actual device, and the device is electrified. Um, the device then basically aligns the drug in the proper format in order to pass it through the tissue. And the second phase of the delivery process, it actually passes it through the tissue into the back of the eye. So, so the prototype actually um, was made at Cleveland Clinic through our biomedical engineering department. Um, it was a, a through a, a funded through a product development fund award, which the Cleveland Clinic goes out to um, uh, clinicians and, and innovators in, at the clinic that want to work with their department to sponsor new research into fields that have need, and also potentially to create commercial uh, products for, for delivery for patients. Um, uh, the clamshell device. Um, was developed entirely here. It basically consists of uh, two pieces. There is a interdigitated electrode that sits on the base of it, and a um, shell that sits on the top. Um, this there's a total of five electrodes that are present in this device. The sponge itself sits in the middle, and it's hydrated with the drug of interest. Once the drug is hi um, uh, hydrated in the sponge, um, this clamshell is placed over, uh, closed, and placed over the eye itself, and in this sort of format. Here replace it like this. And um, the actual base of this has a uh, connection for the electrodes that you plug into the actual box. And then the application occurs for five minutes and the patient is placed um, laying down and the device would hold in place during that five minute period. It's taken off and then this is disposed of at the end of the procedure. So from the from the um, the the patient proposition this deals with an easier way to get the drug that they would normally get as an injection. It's a less painful process. It potentially could be less expensive for them uh, as a patient. From the physician standpoint, it allows us to see more patients because these are very time-consuming visits just for us as well as the patient to have to actually sterilize the eye, to clean the eye off, and then to give the injection, and then to discuss the post-operative issues. Um, potentially a paraprofessional can be used to deliver this type of, of, of drug to the patient like in a dialysis format that occurs quite, quite frequently in our community. And from the, um, the company perspective, it allows it for a greater adherence to their recommended treatment intervals. So if they're recommending monthly intervals and you're deviating from that, um, this would allow you to, uh, in, a, in a very efficient fa fashion and also in a very non-invasive fashion, to deliver the drug as it's recommended to, to be delivered. I was at a Halloween party. Uh, that's what happened. I, I ended up coming to a Halloween party. There was a gentleman there who was uh, dressed as actually Ben Franklin. Um, he had discussed, I just discussed with him how uh, tired I was from the 60 patient day I had with 12 injections and how that was very time consuming. And he had said, you know, why haven't they ever thought about my, this patch that may be applicable for that type of disease process and drug delivery in general. So we we started talking and working together, and that's how we got in touch, and that's actually how this device came about. Um, the developmental process um, for the prototypes and everything else had occurred here at the clinic. Um, so we had done all the work through our biomedical department here. They had done all the CAD drawings for the device and, and helped in the design expertise. In that this has been Ingenuity B2B. If you have an innovation that you'd like to highlight, please contact us at Jay Krauss at ingenuitycleveland.org. I'm James Krauss for Ingenuity.